off of the city of Laurel. Sonic Mule, here's Prince of Hemp to the inside. Here's El Larib fired up to up close to that pace. So a gang of them right across the track, actually six vying for the early advantage. It's Sonic Mule now with that head in front. Sonic Mule, no dozing, has come through, one off the inside. And Honor the Fleet and Prince of Hemp is involved as well out there. Four wide, El Arib on the inside. Indian Lover parked from that outside gate. And Tale of Silence last, but only four from the front. Quite the scramble on. Solid pace going. Now Quartet across. It's Honor the Fleet and El Arib on the inside. Head-to-head -head battle and Prince of Hemp to the outside. Even farther out, Sonic Mule is four deep into the far turn run, and Indian Lover is next. Then it's No Dozing, who's dropped back a bit off the pace, and two Charlies and Tale of Silence has been taken to the outside for a five-wide sweep with two and a half furlongs left to go. Prince of Hempton, Sonic Mule working head-to-head -head for the lead with El Arib continuing to battle on the inside, and Honor the Fleet and Tale of Silence swooping on the far outside, trying to join as well. Wide open affair, it's Sonic Mule just in front from Prince of Hemp, and Tale Tale of Silence driven left-handed in the middle of the track. Joining in as well, a furlong left to go. Sonic Mules in front, Prince of Hemp. And Tale of Silence keeps on coming on the outside. Prince of Hemp digging down. Prince of Hemp, Prince of Hemp's got some class. Four for four, Prince of Hemp from Tale of Silence, Sonic Mule. And then no dozing, an Indian lover. official winner of the City of Laurel Stakes. Owned by Thomas McClay and trained by Timothy Kreiser, Dana Whitney aboard, bred in Pennsylvania by Donald Brown Jr. Three-year-old Bay Gelding by Majestic Warrior from Promised Treasure by Broken Vow in 122.67. $2 exact to $53. Thomas G. McClay's Prince of Hemp wins the City of Laurel in impressive fashion here with trainer Tim Kreiser. This horse was undefeated coming into this race, and he just beat a real nice field of three-year-olds. Pretty quick time as well, 122 and three. How good is this three-year-old? Yet to be seen, I guess. Uh, he's passed every test, uh, training good, big, strong horse. Were you pretty confident coming into this race? Yeah, we thought we had a good one. Yeah, he's been training for release since day one. Now you're four for four. You just beat a nice field here. Where do you go after this race? That's a good question. <laughs> we didn't look ahead yet. Maybe we'll find something back down here for you.
it. We'll take one step at a time. All right, trainer Tim Kreiser. He's a 26, 28% winning trainer this year, and he gets the win in the city of Laurel with Prince of Him. Seventh race is safely kept. Scratch five analyzed. Ten Ms. Locust Point. Twelve Harkness. Fifteen Folk Magic. Sixteen Toby Girl. Six You Know Two is one over. Jose Delgadillo on the seven. She